Hey guys, it's Rick. And Brett. I'm Rick James Bricks. Where are we, Brett? I'm not sure. I was asleep. Brett was asleep. <laughs> We're in Townsville. As you can see behind us, there is about a thousand Lego sets in this van. We brought a van in Townsville uh, so we can bring a thousand Lego sets to the store. 998. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. We're hot. We're overheated. As you can see, sweaty head, no beard. But we're ready to show you guys. Uh, we're going to drive down like absolute psychos down the middle of Australia. Yes. Wish us luck. There'll be yes. some silly comments because I'm going to try and record yes. Brett saying I'm something not inappropriate. I'm not going to say too much because I'm not allowed to be inappropriate. So. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the video. We'll do an unloading video when we get back to work. We didn't do a loading video because it is hot in Townsville and the camera would have cracked the sads. Very sweaty. <laughs> a very sweaty corner, Brett. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy the drive of... 28 hours from Townsville to Melbourne. We just stopped at McDonald's. That's a free promo. Shout out to McDonald's. Give us some free McDonald's. Yep. Sponsor us. Sponsor us so we can purchase more Lego sets. Check out that one there. And ice cream. That's a really expensive Lego set just sitting right there. Look how pretty it is. That is a lot of money sitting there. But yeah, enjoy the video. We look forward to seeing you guys in store one weekend, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday. Uh, 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. That's my boy. Bye, guys. All right, Brett, where are we? We are in the state of my birth, New South Wales, Burke. Burke, New South Wales. We just got the Burke. world's best sausage rolls, hopefully, because we have to eat. Because it is 6 o'clock in the morning. Yesterday, Brett couldn't drive, so I did all the driving. No, this is not true, fans and air conditioners. <laughs> he wouldn't let me drive. Oh, I don't believe a word that I'm Brett's surprised saying. I'm allowed in the front seat well, today. Well, I've got to be put in the boot. I was a little gassy yesterday. So you're going to put him in the back? <laughs> so we're going to just do the directions. It'll tell us that. Rick, on Rick James Street, may be closed today, so that's fine. Oh. I didn't say it. Ah. it, said, it every, said it every other. 11 hours to the store, we're going to see how we go. Um, we didn't record a lot of yesterday because I did all the driving. No. Maybe closed today. Maybe closed today. Oh. Um, we'll see that you... Uh, it's not true. It's not true, apparently. We're going to unload the van. We're going to do a sneaky unload the van on Sunday night. So you're not going to see this video until next week and they're over it. That's right. But Daddy wouldn't let me drive. You need to drive me up the wall. Does that count? Oh, yeah, that's great. Well done. All I'm right. doing the best I can. We're not going to do any AMSR and, and that's let you guys uh, watch us eat. So enjoy these time lapse of Burke. Now, before we start, what did we see? We saw emus, kangaroos, a wombat. A wild kitten. A wild kitten. A wild, a wild boar. boar. What else have we seen? Hawks. We've seen hawks. Goats. Goats. Dead and alive. Wild goats too, like everywhere. What else? Um, we saw sheep, but they weren't like... Yes, they were outside emus. <coughs> we saw emus, we said that already. We saw... Oh, and a lizard, which we may or may not have run over. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> we also um, went through someone's massive property and went for forever. Like, a couple hundred kilometers forever. Yeah, unbelievable. It was amazing. All right, guys, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll see you back in the store. Bye, guys. All right, Brett, how does it feel back in Victoria? I feel relieved. Remember, we're recording, and it's going on YouTube, so nothing inappropriate. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to be back in Victoria. It How is. many kilometres have we done so far? I can't see because I switched off the music. Uh, about 2,500. No, 2,400. No, 2,400 kilometres in a couple of days. Yes. Um, Victor be... Victoria smells different. It doesn't it does. smell like sweat. It smells like money. Does it smell like money? I don't know. I don't know. What does money smell like? I don't know. It smells like Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm really not because Sarah doesn't watch YouTube videos. Yes, it's a bad luck for Sarah. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, crazy little video we're doing. We're going to do an unpacking video soon, aren't we, Brett? Yes, yes, you are. So we're going to fast forward to the future because this weekend, which is, we're open this weekend because today is Thursday, mm. uh, the stock won't be in the store, it'll be in the following weekend. So by the time you see this video, uh, the stock will be unloaded. It will. And it'll be all set up in the store for you guys to come and visit. There'll be purchase. photos and there all There is sorts of fun things. a really rare 2008 San Diego Comic Con Lego exclusive in the truck, isn't it, Brett? Yes, I'm going to And buy. it's not Brett. I'm going to buy it. Oh, it's not Batman, so Brett won't touch oh, it. Oh, no, no. It's Star Wars. Or it's as, very good. As the fake Lego companies call it, it's uh, Star all Wieners. Stars. Isn't it Star Wieners is what they know? Yeah, it's Star Wieners. Yeah, okay. All right, enjoy it. We'll unpack. We'll do a silly video when we unpack on Sunday. But you guys will see uh, Unpack Magic, won't they, Brett? Yes, it will be magic. It will be magic. Because I'll be there. All right, I've got to do 80 now, so I've got to focus. All right, bye, guys. Where's the button? Uh Hey guys, it's Rick. Carolyn. 
I'm Rick James Bricks. I wasn't going to yell then. Usually I yell, but I don't think this needs to... I think the Lego does enough yelling. Yeah. Exactly. I hope you guys enjo enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed the updates of Brett and I going to Townsville and back through this little clip at the start. Um, this is a lot of Lego. This has taken us a few days. So we officially got this Lego uh, was like the first week of September. It is now the 10th of September. And it sat outside in the van since last Thursday. Well protected, I may add. Well protected in the van because we just didn't have time to unpack it before the weekend because we arrived back on Thursday night. And also to catalogue it. Poor Sarah has worked incredibly, incredibly hard the last few days to get this out. She's back in tomorrow to give us a hand. There's a lot of Lego here. Please bear with us. Caroline's going to... There's a lot of data. Thanks, Sarah. <coughs> Excuse me. Caroline's going to try and go as slow as possible. Mm. Uh, this is not going to be a store tour video. This is just going on YouTube, maybe Facebook. This is a very, very long collection update it's video. interesting. It's going to be massive. It's going to be long. Bear with us. Maybe 18 minutes. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, we will. Let's go, Caroline. All right. Watch out, puppy. So you can see we got that a part of the collection, but you know, that's just whatever. This is just, yeah, this you can see the store. If Carolyn's going to quick pan, look we'll how much Lego there is. We'll see it as we go. There is so much Lego in the store, oh my God. Like, yeah. So okay. let's head down here, Caroline. Right, now prices are to be determined of the poly bags. We haven't gone through them all yet. This is what Sarah's job is tomorrow. As you can see, there is a lot of poly bags. There's about 300 poly bags here. Shall I go over them all? I mean, you know. I think you should. Oodles. Oodles and oodles. There's oodles and oodles. Yeah. What are you doing, puppy? I do my best. You're right. What are you sniffing for? You went to the bathroom already. We are. So it is, today is Tuesday. Yes. So if everything goes to plan, these. This video should yeah. go live tonight, which is Tuesday. If everything goes to plan, I edit correctly, it sounds good, and everything gets done. Exactly. So tomorrow's task will be going through. And sorting it all out. Because we've priced everything else. Everything else yeah. is priced. So why Sarah's pricing the poly, ba uh, poly bags, I will put the sets away. We are doing a lot of judging. We're changing the store a lot because it's a lot of Lego here. And most of it's not going to go online at the start. It's going to be in-store only just because of the size of the collection over the coming weeks. If there's anything left, it usually goes online. Hey, pup, what are you doing? No shady, shady All stuff. Right, I'm going to go. No, just... All right, guys, we have Indiana Jones sets. OG Indiana Jones sets. Uh, Last Crusade sets. Um, heaps of retired items here today. Hello, puppy dog. What are you doing, sweetie? Hey, you're being cheeky. You're sniffing around today. Car Caroline's got the camera skills here. Then we've got OG Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets, plus we've got a Baradua and a Rivendell in this well, collection. I'm hoping also that you can, that it is possible to pause the video at certain points. You should be able to pause it and have a look. Photos of the collection will be live on Facebook Friday night as per normal, and our regular store updates will be uploaded on social media Friday during the day sometime. Potentially in the morning if we can organise ourselves good enough. It depends on if Lego bring, get our delivery here in the morning. It's not Lego oh, delivery buttons. So. We've got old school Harry Potter here, guys. Now, Harry Potter, after the Harry Potter, you're going to see how much Star Wars there is. It's insane. We've tried to put it in years. Brett's done an amazing job the last couple of days. We, we, yes. We He's like, how do you deal with a collection that's this big? And I'm like, yeah. it's massive. Well, Via. Which side? Do you want me on this side or that uh, side? Maybe yeah. go on the other side. Hang on, let me just use your pass. I did, because I can. Now, as you guys can see, these are... I don't know what the ears are from. Brett would know a bit more. It'll say, down the underneath. Now, there's some rare Star Wars sets here. Back then, the three-in-one packs never came to Australia, and they sometimes even don't now come to Australia. There's Jabba's Sail Barge, there's the Rancor Pit, some really rare retired Star Wars Lego sets here, which is pretty amazing. We've had some of these in store before, but we've also not had some of these, so there's a lot. Then we go over to our UCS Star Wars sets. We've got the Tantive, we've got the Cloud City, Sandcrawler, Republic Gunship, Assault on Hoth, Landspeeder, Luke's Landspeeder. We've got another X-Wing, an A-Wing, TIE Interceptor, a Y-Wing. We have Moz Easley's Cantina. We've got both Death Stars, both iterations of the Death Star. We've also got a Super Star Destroyer, a Millennium Falcon. Now we have multiple Millennium Falcons in store. We've got an R2-D2 and a Razor Crest. Then we go off to this block again. I don't know what the years are. 
but Brett would know, so harass Brett on the weekend. I think it says, some of the set sounds underneath, if you have a look. So this is the Rebels lot. Now you've got to actually find it because there's so much text there. 2015? I think maybe? so. Yeah. This is 2014. Oh, close. So these ones are from 2014, and then it goes over to the... We've got every single Star Wars set, I believe, in this lot. We've got Star Wars buildable characters. You're going to see some really, really old Star Wars sets because now we're going back to four digits, right? Someone was asking me about that Stormtrooper. And I was like, yes, I think I'm getting it. No doubt there'll be a few people after that one. That's old. That's like yeah, I'm trying to find the year. 2009, this, oh, this series sorry, from. Out of the don't knock it, don't knock no, it, don't drop it. Knock it. 2009, wow. And then as you guys can see... We've got Gungan Sub again, and we've got another three-in-one pack. We've got Jabba's Palace. Now, retired Lego set got retired very abruptly. That's in stock, which is pretty amazing. We've got so many <laughs> iterations of the A-Wing Jedi Starfighters. It's just so much of the same thing, but over the course of multiple years. So you're going to see how good Lego Star Wars is. There's a lot. When we unpacked the van, we didn't believe how much we actually fit in the van. It was actually oh, insane. Hours. Hours. And then, like... To get it in, me and Brett spent hours packing it too. It was about four or five hours packing it in Townsville. Uh, we've got Anakin Sebulba's Pod Race. Then we've got this ATAT limited edition. And then we've got another three in one pack. Just wait, Caroline. Focus on the three in one pack. Yeah. We've got another three in one pack. She just pushed me. I'm like, yeah, just. Well, he's in my way, always. We've got the Republic frig Frigate, couple of slave ones. So many cool old Star Wars Lego sets. Don't bump me. <laughs> you bumped me. The Battle of Naboo, Sith Knight Speeder. And then we go on to. I was built. Oh my speed. god! Sorry. Got another jail sales barge, another slave one, and you can see how. Can I have the camera for a no. second? Pass it here. You can see we've got General Grievous. I know, but look at that slave one, six two zero nine. Some old, old school Lego Star Wars sets here right now, which is pretty amazing. It blows me away some of the sets because some of these sets like came out when we first started selling Lego, and some of these sets are older than the store. So there's a few sets here from nineteen ninety nine. The old Lego system Star Wars sets, so the OG ones. Exactly. Another sand crawl. There is so, it's just amazing. It's actually like pretty it goes cool. On and on. It's so good. You can see here, these are the old Lego system ones I was talking about. So these were like the first sort of round, the first era of Lego Star Wars. This set here in particular is from the year 2000. What about these ones? These blue ones? Uh, blue ones are a bit. That must be even older yeah, than that. No, no, they're a bit later, I think. Yeah. 2004. Oh, those ones <laughs> 2000. <laughs> I got you. But look at the numbers. Isn't that weird though? How the numbers are different. That yeah, but numbers mean nothing really. In reality, it's just a set number. Yeah. And you can see like, then we go over to this and then we're over this side. More recent, some of these ones. And then we go back to older ones. Because we've had to stack it and we've been taking photos and we're trying to film it at the same time. Well, we were just going by collection, like yeah. um, the year of Have collection. a look at this. Look at this old X-Wing. There's a funny Lego set, and I'm going to take it off the, off the shelf here to show you guys how funny I think it is. Mm -hmm. Check out, they've got another three-in-one pack, super pack. There's a few really cool sets here. Now, look at this old Jabba. I know the box is pretty, but look at this old Jabba. But wait, check this out. Right? I'm going to take this set off. Hopefully it doesn't collapse the whole pile. Mm -hmm. This set here is the Bounty Hunter Pursuit. We know this from the movie, you know, episode two, I think it was in. You can make it into a helicopter because Star Wars has helicopters. Wow. <laughs> that is from the year 2002. There you go. So there's some really old school sealed Star Wars sets. If you love Lego Star Wars, this is the weekend for you. Exactly. And it's still going. It's not non-stop Lego Star Wars. Halfway uh, I think so. I think we're a little bit over halfway because it's, yeah, we've got a bit of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we did the poly bags at the start. There's a lot. So if you love Lego Star Wars, come check out the store this weekend. Fun times yesterday because I was stacking. You're going to remember, we took photos and stacked all this. I didn't. I had to leave <laughs> early yesterday, but Brett, Sarah, and Caroline did most so of it. I was like pulling it out on the trolley. Just watch your legs on here because yeah, I, I just tripped. So. And then stack it, setting it up before Sarah was scooting along um, a few metres behind me, putting every single, the data from every single set into. And we've checked it off again to make sure that the, the uh, collection is complete. Poor Sarah, all these numbers. She had to go I think Sarah's capped out of collections for a minute. So everyone who's emailing us for about collections, this is why I haven't gotten back to you. Because we flew to Townsville, we brought a van, we filled the van, we brought it back. Happy days. 
That's pretty exciting, actually. Exactly. I had to spend a whole uh, three days with Brett in a van. That was exciting. You can hear the excitement in my voice. Just checking on the dog. She was up to something shady over here. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's our dog, oh. the, the store's puppy. Do you want me to go on this bit? Because it's like... Oh my goodness, look what she's doing. She's literally just jumping up at the camera. She had doggy daycare today. She's a little bit in need of attention. We, sometimes we send her to doggy daycare at Patient Paws around the corner. They're really awesome. It's just so that she can do her little doggy thing. Now we've got, over here, you're going to see, we've got a lot of Star Wars advent calendars. I'm going to do the advent calendars first, then I'm going to go back. Yeah, did you want to do the advent calendars and then go back down yeah, here? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Look at Caroline, she's on it. Yeah, we're going to totally overhaul the store as well. We're going to have to fit all this stuff in. It's just nuts. We've got Big Bang Theories back. You know, we'll do another video once we... The store um, tour. Yeah, of course. XO4 tour. sets, agent sets, one of my favourite that's themes ever. Set up, of we've got more Marvel sets... Shield Hallie back. Got another Hogbuster. I think I might put those online next week because we've got a few of those now. We seem to be accumulating them at the moment. And then here we've got these little... You're right to get in here, Caroline. Do you Absolutely. need me to do it? Okay. They've got all these little Star Wars sets. Fawn's like, jingle, jingle, jingle. She, touch she me, touch me. Down near the carpet, so she's just deciding to go. She's actually trying to get up onto me. It's very cute. <sighs> I'm giggling. She's like licking my hand. Frantic. So... So that part's done now. We've got battle packs now. So I'm just going to move behind you, Caroline. Sorry. There's just battle packs. Just, you know what? I'm just going to do one shelf at a time. Yeah, do that. And then we can explain what's over here on this side. Yes. There's some pretty cool Lego sets. So many that I've not seen. So many really rare Lego sets. Some I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. We've had some, that some nostalgia driven Lego sets. So if you've had Star Wars Lego when you were a kid, you know, if you're like my age. You know, which is very, very old. If you had, if you had Star Wars sets like when you were like you in your teens, like I did, I had some of these Star Wars sets, and it brings back vivid memories of seeing Episode One: The Phantom Menace in the movies. So we've got the micro fighters now. So there's heaps of micro fighters now. We've slowed it down. As as much as we can, we cannot give you prices on every single item when you message us. It's just too hard. We can't. We're just so busy now getting the store ready. Yeah, and some people go, oh, but I saw this in Even though tomorrow is Wednesday and today is Tuesday, it's going to take us three days to get this store ready. Like tomorrow, there's a lot to do. We've got the van, obviously, we've got to sort out that. Plus, we've got to sort out the store. There's a lot going on tomorrow. Wow. That's right. There's so many cool, like these are the cool old Lego system sets. This set here in particular, I'm just going to grab one off the shelf while Caroline's recording there. There's just a random bucket in there. Oh, that's fine. That was supposed to be not in there, but that's okay. And I think we've got a couple of... So when the Phantom Menace was released, mm. which was like a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. I actually own this Lego set. God knows where it is now, what but is this, set this is 1999. So I purchased this set. I remember in the cinemas, uh, in the cinemas, in the, like one of the chain stores after watching the movie because I loved Darth Maul. Mm. They, this set here actually made me go, oh my God. This, when we were looking at this collection, there was one set that stood out the most and Caroline's gonna stay in here and I'm gonna go grab this really special set. <clears throat> so when we get offered Lego collections, mm. like we usually look for big key items because as you guys are aware, Obviously, UCS sets, things like big creator sets. That's what our store, you know, we need for our store. Star Wars is amazing. We love Star Wars. When I was going through the list, the list I should say, and when uh, the gentleman contacted us about this about a month ago, we've been negotiating for about a month. It all happened very abruptly last week. This set was on his list, and I've never, ever seen this. And I'm not a big Star Wars collector, I must admit, but I've been around Lego a long you time. This? You can see, like, look at that. Oh, it's a surprise. This is a brand new steel sealed. The box is a little bit brand new steel sealed uh, San Diego Comic Con 2008 exclusive. I've never ever seen one in person before. The boxes, as you can see, has got a bit of shelf wear because of where it was stored. Um, it is still new. It's the brand new sealed. There's, been, there's no issues. You can see the flap's still working. 
I was surprised, mm. like, when we picked this up because, you know, Star Wars, there's a lot. There's a lot. And they only made a handful of these sets. These are very expensive. If you'd like to know the price, we suggest coming in store to see the price because it is very, very, very expensive. We understand it's going to be expensive, but it is extremely rare and it's very hard to get. And we even know that only a select number of people are going to want a set like this. So it will be in the cabinet for you guys to see under lock and key so no one can touch it. And the staff know that I want oh, to touch it because if I drop it, it's on me, it's not on anyone else. But this Lego collection, I'll tell you, we have an incredible staff here. We have incredible team members. You know, credit where credit's due. Like, it's not just Rick and Caroline, it's Sarah and Brett, and maybe others along the way that we've had along the way. Credit where credit's due, Brett dropped everything. It's extremely hard, and this is what I really want to do, a shout out to Brett. He even suggested. So what happened was, originally we were meant to go get it this week. We were meant to fly to Townsville and drive it back. Originally it was meant to be freighted back, but it was too hard, logistical damages, we didn't want it damaged. Credit where credit's due, Brett dropped everything last minute and was like, right, let's go. We booked flights last minute. We flew up last minute. We brought a van on a whim. There's a van in the driveway. We own that van now. Like, I wonder if there's a van up in town still. So we own a van. The store owns the van. It's a big moment for us to be able to do these sort of things because I remember when we, had, when we were a tiny store. A long time ago now, nearly 15 years ago. In a doorway, tiny, tiny store. But to be able to do this sort of stuff and offer you guys extremely rare lego sets that i've never seen before there's even i don't even know where the pens are there's like star wars pens and stuff oh there's over here so sarah and brett are still being cataloging stuff so this is why there's stuff in this collection i'm just gonna oh, flip this one out yeah, let's have a look. like stuff like this can i go over each of these yeah so like if you have a look at these these are really hard brand new like oh, sealed box no through. because we're still trying to figure out the pricing and yeah. you can see stuff like this look I know, I know she's done the We've got the pen. four pack. This is the only sealed four pack we have. The rest are like singles. You can see like, we've got single ones. Brett's been going through them. This is, this is a four pack. So we're still trying to decide how to catalog can this I stuff. See them all? Yeah, so there's a Falcon, an AT-AT, yeah. a gunship, mm -hmm. a MTT. I think that's how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. Sorry no. to the Star Wars guys. Well, I'm sure you I don't collect Star Wars, so I apologize now. I do like the movies though, oh, but I don't. Next swing there. And I think these ones are missing one, number one, but it's got the other three. There's that one as well. So there's just so much amazing Lego here. But as I was saying, credit where credit's due, Brett and Sarah have really done an amazing job. Sarah has just pumped and worked from home and done everything she's needed for us to make sure that the store can be the way it is this week. So Sarah, Brett, Caroline and I will be installed this weekend. Fawn as well, obviously. Yeah. But we'll be all in on Saturday. You guys really need to give credit to those guys because without Brett and Sarah, this wouldn't have been done. I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. There's no way I would have been able to go and drive all the way back, load the van. It's just been insane. We saw some crazy stuff on the road. We saw so many animals. Yes, we drove for a that. fire. Like, it's just been like, but yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this massive Lego collection. We hope we've catalogued it all. If you've got any questions, please come in store. I'll try and answer them over YouTube. It's really hard because like, I'm still learning social media, so YouTube's hard. I'm trying to keep on top of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this massive Star Wars haul. I look forward to seeing you in store this weekend. And why fawn scratchy scratchy away. Mm. Look at that itchy dog. It's time to have the collar off, I think. Mm, I we look forward to seeing you guys. So Brett, Sarah, Fawn, Caroline and I look forward to seeing you this weekend, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thanks, guys. Bye.